Welcome back to the Fox 32 News at noon as we take a live look at firefighters still on the scene of what uh, turned into a deadly high-rise fire. This is on the 1200 block of North DuSable Lakeshore Drive. And this noon, we are learning more about that fire that took the life of a Chicago fire lieutenant. Dane Placco is live at Northwestern Memorial Hospital with the very latest info for us. Dane. Yeah, Anthony, tragically, for the second day in a row, hard to believe, we are uh, mourning the loss of a Chicago firefighter, and the F Chicago Fire Department is mourning the loss of one of its own. That firefighter identified short time ago as 55-year-old uh, Lieutenant John Torek. He'd been on the force, we're told, since 1997. Now, this happened in a high-rise fire that broke out a little after 7 this morning in a condo building at 1200 North DuSable Lakeshore Drive. Fire was on the 27th floor. The elevators had been turned off, so firefighters were forced to carry all of that heavy equipment up those 27 floors. And Fire Commissioner Annette, Annette Nance Holt says Torek was in a stairwell on the 11th floor when he suddenly collapsed. He was rushed here to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he died. Three other firefighters were injured battling that fire. They're also in uh, fair to serious condition. In a news conference a short time ago, Mayor Lori Lightfoot said she spoke with Torek's family. Family, which includes a son who just recently became a Chicago police officer. I can't tell you how this impacts us losing two members in two days. As I said yesterday, this job is dangerous. And you never know if you're coming home despite the best training and equipment that we can provide. Please keep his family in your prayers as well as the entire Chicago Fire Department. Our men and women who are first responders in the city are heroic. They are brave. They, every single day, put their lives on the line for us. They deserve our unending thanks and support. Not just on a tragic day like this, but every single day. And as we said, today's tragedy comes just 24 hours after the loss of another Chicago firefighter, uh, Jermaine Pelt, who died while fighting a fire on the far south side of Chicago yesterday morning. Firefighters still on the scene of that condo fire on the north side. We'll have much more later this afternoon. Live at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Dane Placco, Fox 32. Anthony, back to you. Okay, Dane, thank you for that update. This